Good evening, everyone. I'm Marcia McNutt. I'm the president of the National Academy of Sciences. And welcome to the 155th meeting of the National Academy of Sciences. We're here to induct the 155th class of members into this honorific society. And are not only members, but foreign associates who were elected in 2017. This ceremony is being webcast live, and we welcome viewers from the US and from abroad. I'm going to begin by introducing each new member and reading a micro statement of his or her scientific contributions as each person signs the registry of membership. Standing in front of the registry is Sue Wessler, who is our home secretary, and she'll greet each member as they sign. Foreign Secretary John Hildebrand will greet the new foreign members. So, to begin, Nima Arkani Hamed. Arkani Hamed's contributions include proposals for models of particle physics and the discovery of new mathematical structures in quantum field theory. Next, Phil Barron. Barron invented strategies and methods for the chemical synthesis of complicated organic molecules which have advanced academic and industrial research. Frank Bates. Bates's contributions to polymer science and engineering have opened new lines of scientific inquiry and commercial application. So it's going to go faster, everyone, if you wait till I read the citation, <laughs> then clap, OK? OK, Stephen Balin. Balin's groundbreaking research opened up the field of cancer epigenetics and led to new therapies and strategies for cancer management. Beautiful. <laughs> Next, Yasmin Belcade. Belcade studies the mechanisms controlling host microbe interactions to understand immunity and the development of inflammatory disorders. All right, nicely done. Stephen Bell. <laughs> Bell is a pioneer in the study of DNA replication, focusing on the initiation of chromosome duplication. Okay, Dominique Bergman. Bergman's studies of leaf pores led to new insights into cell fate, cell communication, and cell polarity in plants. Okay, Sangita Batita. Batita's research leverages miniaturization tools from the world of engineering to treat liver disease, cancer, infections, and other illnesses. Great 
talk today, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mari Bramson. Bramson's pivotal work in probability theory has been applied to traffic flow, telecommunications, tumor growth, and population genetics. Okay, Dana Carroll. Carroll pioneered methods for genome engineering, which are being applied by investigators worldwide in research, agriculture, and human health. Okay, David Charbonneau. Charbonneau pioneered the discovery and characterization of exoplanets via the transmission of starlight with the goal of studying inhabited, inhabited worlds. Jeffrey Coates. Coates develops catalysts in order to synthesize environmentally benign polymers from new renewable substances such as carbon dioxide. Judith Gamora Cohen. Cohen uses chemical abundances of old stars to explore the formation and evolution of our Milky Way galaxy. Robert Crabtree. Crabtree studies the design and synthesis of molecules with unusual structures and properties with applications in alternative energy. John Cronin. Cronin's study of fatty acids and fatty acid-derived vitamins has revealed how biotin and lipoic acid are synthesized. Christopher Cummins. Cummins studies new methods of inorganic synthesis, leading to pioneering contributions to the chemistry of nitrogen and phosphorus. Marcetta Derensburg. Derensburg through synthetic inorganic chemistry has provided a deep understanding of the properties of hydrogen producing and hydrogen activating enzymes. <laughs> Douglas Diamond. Diamond develops theories of what banks do, why they do it, and how they impact liquidity and financial crises. <laughs> Ray 
Chris Doe. Doe's studies helped reveal how neural stem cells generate neuronal and glial diversity during Drosophila brain development. Robert Edwards. Edwards identified the proteins that transport neurotransmitters into synaptic vesicles and used them to elucidate basic features of synaptic transmission. <laughs> Noam Elkis. Elkis pioneered many computational areas related to number theory and made fundamental advances in the theory of elliptic curves. <laughs> Mary Firestone. Firestone studies soil microbiomes in order to enhance the tolerance of plants to environmental stress. <laughs> Baruch Fischoff. Fischoff has led research on analyzing and communicating risks and benefits regarding decisions involving health, safety, and the environment. <laughs> David Ginty. Ginty's innovative neuroscience research has discovered key aspects of the neural circuits that underlie our sense of touch. <laughs> Christopher Glass. Glass investigates the mechanisms of regulating and developing microphages cells that play key roles in immunity and inflammatory diseases. Thank you. <laughs> Yale Goldman. Goldman studies, oh, oh yes, Yale's studies cell motility and protein synthesis and advocates for the application of nanotechnology to physiological problems. <laughs> Gabriela Gonzalez. Gonzalez led the LIGO scientific collaboration that observed gravitational wave signals emitted by merging black holes a billion years ago. John Hagen. Hagen studies the sociology of crime and justice, applying crime measurement and demographic method, me methods to understand the scope of genocides. <laughs> Mary Hatton. Hatton studies the mechanisms of brain development and is a pioneer of live imaging methods for studying neurons.
Arthur Hebbard. Hebbard is a leader in experimental investigations of the physics and synthesis of solid-state thin films. Klaus Jensen. Jensen's work in chemical engineering has led to new insight and technologies for production of pharmaceuticals and materials. <laughs> Limor Joshua Tor. Joshua Tor uses the tools of structural biology, biochemistry, and biophysics to study RNAi and DNA replication. Barbara Kahn. Kahn's studies of the mechanisms of regulating glucose homeostasis, including inter-organ communication, have provided fundamental insights into the development of diabetes. <laughs> Donald Kinder. Kinder's research aims to clarify and understand the place of race in contemporary American politics. <laughs> Michael Kosterlitz. Kosterlitz has made major contributions to theoretical physics, particularly in the area of phase transitions of matter. Mitchell Lazar. Lazar discovered several nuclear receptors and hormones that control circadian rhythms and metabolism. Richard Loxley. Loxley's fundamental discoveries related to allergic immunity include uncovering the role of helper T cells. Scott Lowe. Lowe's studies into tumor suppression gene networks reveal the strategies nature uses to combat cancer. <laughs> Guillermina Lozano. Lozano discovered the transcriptional activation function of the P53 tumor suppresso, suppressor and its inhibition by MDM2 and MDM4 proteins. Fiona Marshall. 
Marshall's transformative anthropological research has revealed the history of animal domestication and agriculture in Africa. Jeffrey Moore. Moore's research focuses on the development of polymers and other new materials that are both safer and longer lasting. <laughs> Melissa Moore. Moore studies how cells make, use, and degrade long RNAs and how to create drugs and vaccines from messenger RNAs. <laughs> Karen Nelson. Nelson led the first human metagenomic study and researches the interactions between human microbiomes and emerging and chronic diseases. <laughs> Jody Nunari. Nunari studies the cellular mechanisms underlying mitochondrial behavior to reveal how mitochondrial dysfunction contributes to human disease. <laughs> Patrick O'Farrell. O'Farrell, a founder of proteomics, uses genetics to study developmental control of the cell cycle. Donald Ort. Ort pioneered strategies for improving photosynthetic efficiency and adapting photosynthesis to global climate change. Ariel Pecos. Pecos has developed methods for analyzing market responses to environmental and policy changes such as mergers, deregulation, or tariffs. <laughs> Gary Parker. Parker's studies of the flow of water laid the foundation for our current understanding of sedimentary environments. Arden Patapudian. Patapudian is a pioneer in the study of sensory bio biology who has identified the molecular basis for touch and pain. <laughs> Claudio Pellegrini. Pellegrini spent decades pursuing new X-ray technology to allow studies to be conducted on the ultra-fast atomic and molecular level. <laughs> 
Craig Picard. Picard studies gene silencing, a process important for developmental gene regulation, chromosome stability, and genome defense. James Priest. Priest has conducted revolutionary research into how single cells grow from eggs into complex organisms. John Pringle. Pringle studies cell polarization and cytokinesis in yeast and algae, and now also the cell biology of symbiosis in corals. <laughs> James Randerson. Randerson has improved our understanding of the global carbon cycle through his study of fires and intensified land use. <laughs> Nicholas Reed. Reed has identified several novel two-dimensional low-temperature phases of matter which play important roles in quantum computing and superconductivity. Henry Rodinger III. Rodinger's leadership in cognitive psychology has influenced our understanding of memory and the effects of testing on learning and retention. Amy Rosenzweig. Rosenzweig studies the structure and function of proteins and enzymes that contain metals, providing key insights into biological processes. So Douglas Shemsky. Shemsky studies the ecological and genetic mechanisms of adaptation and speciation. And it gets really muddy, too. Karen Sito. Sito uses satellite imaging or imagery, socioeconomic data, and field research to reveal the impact of urbanization on the environment. Robert Seifarth. Cypher studies of communication and cognition in wild primates have provided pioneering insight into the evolution of cognition and language. David Sibley. Sibley's leadership in the study of parasitic protozoans is leading to new approaches for treatment. <laughs> Ray 
Robert Silicano. Silicano and his wife Janet, leaders in our understanding of HIV treatment, are working on approaches for curing the infection. Douglas Soltis. Soltis's genetic research into plant evolution helped to build the first comprehensive tree of life. <laughs> Daniel Spielman. Spielman is a world leader in algorithms working at the interface of computer science, engineering, and mathematics. <laughs> Jonathan Sprint. Sprint has made critical contributions to the study of immunological memory and tolerance, transplantation immunity, and cancer immunotherapy. <laughs> Michael Strand. Strand studies the interactions between insects, parasites, and microorganisms, revealing insight into their genomics, immunity, development, and evolution. Madhu Sudan. Madhu Sudan researches the mathematics of communication and computation, focusing on methods and mechanisms for reliable interaction between computers. Sarah Tishkoff. Tishkoff studies how genomic variation in Africans contributes to susceptibility to disease, drug metabolism, and biological adaptations. <laughs> David Van Essen. Van Essen's research has shaped our understanding of the brain's structure, function, evolution, and development. John Vidali. Vidali's studies of earthquakes and volcanoes have resulted in new approaches to seismic data analysis and interpretation. <laughs> Anne Villeneuve. Villeneuve's research has helped to elucidate the molecular and cellular mechanisms underlying chromosome inheritance during reproduction. <laughs> Paul Wenberg. Wenberg's research reveals natural and anthropogenic influences on the atmosphere's chemistry and sets the standard for measurement of greenhouse gases. <laughs> J. 
Jun Ying Yuan. Yuan studies the molecular mechanisms of cell death in mammals with applications for treatment of neurogenerative diseases, including ALS and Alzheimer's disease. James Sackos. Sackos studies how global climate responded to changes during the past 65 million years, helping to understand modern climate. Don Zagir. Zagir has opened new vistas of fundamental importance in number theory, algebraic geometry, and mathematical physics. Now, we are going to have a change of uh, command here and invite John Hildebrand, our foreign secretary, who will um, now uh, recognize the foreign associates who were elected in 2017. Uh, so John is in place, yes, okay. Um, first we have uh, Leah Adadi. Adadi, no, no, oh, you've already forgotten, okay? <laughs> Adadi studies the relations between structure and function of crystalline materials in physiological and pathological conditions. Now! All right. Emmanuel Charpentier. Charpentier and colleagues have made key discoveries supporting the development of CRISPR genome modification. Carl Folk, Folk's resilient studies have played critical roles in clarifying the importance of ecosystem stewardship and global sustainability. <laughs> Kenneth Freeman, Freeman's work provided foundational understanding of the structure of galaxies, including the dark matter within them. Francisco Guinea. Guinea, a pioneering physicist, has covered topics ranging from condensed matter theory to graphene and other two-dimensional materials. <laughs> Duncan Haldane. Haldane has moved from seminal contributions to condensed matter physics to working on topological quantum states of matter. Sangyup Lee. Lee developed the new field of systems meta metabolic engineering, creating strategies to produce chemicals and materials from renewable resources. <laughs> Ian 
Ian Matty. Matty's pioneering contributions to RNA protein interactions led directly to understanding transport between the cell nucleus and cytoplasm. Sigafumi Moli. Moli discovered a new approach to birational geometry, leading to applications in geometry, number theory, and string theory. Malik Paris. Paris has contributed to human health through his studies of SARS, MERS, and lethal H5N1 influenza. Carol Robinson. Robinson pioneered the application of mass spectrometry to structural biology, influencing the development of new pharmaceuticals. Dolph Schulter. Schulter pioneered the study of adaptive radiation, revealing how new species evolve, adapt, and persist, along with the impact on ecosystems. <laughs> Wolf Singer. Singer studies mammalian vision systems to provide understanding of higher brain functions, such as perception, attention, and consciousness. <laughs> Irma Thesleff. Thesleff studies the mechanisms of embryonic organ development particularly how stem cells become teeth, hair, and glands. Arnold Underdahl. Underdahl studies international negotiations, cooperation, and institutions to understand what kinds of global environmental agreements work and why. Now, at this time, we welcome a foreign associate elected prior to 2017 who did not yet have a chance to sign the Registry of Membership. Manindra Agarwal. Manindra Agarwal is a foreign associate from India elected in 2015 who serves as a professor at the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur. Angerwal's fundamental contributions to mathematics include his celebrated algorithm to efficiently recognize prime numbers. So, you've all been very patient. That is it. Let's have one final round of applause for all our national and international.